There we go. Okay. So a dictionary and every element in a dictionary has two parts. It has a key and a value, much like in an actual dictionary, you have the word and the definition, right? I can't find the definition unless I know the word. I don't know the word that the, like they're, they're a pair and you can't have one without the other. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So you use a key to locate a specific value. What does that mean? With a list and strings, we were able to find it with an index, right? I could go string brackets one and it's going to show the first character. You can't do that with a dictionary. It's stored in a random order. So if I do apple, mouse, and or apple, baseball, and carrot for my keys, and then I have the values, it gets stored randomly. And when I display the dictionary, it may do carrot, apple, baseball. It's like, no, that's not the order I want to display it in. It doesn't matter. It gets stored in a random order and you can't change that. Josh. So like how is that useful if I take an How is what well how how is it useful if I search someone in my phone? I don't know exactly where John is in my phone, the number, but I can go phone book John and boom I get his phone number. Okay. Right? So that's how you I don't know exactly where Apple is in the dictionary, but I know if I find Apple I get the definition. Masa? Yeah, you put in Apple. You, so what you'd have to do, if you want things in alphabetical order, you'd have to take them out of the dictionary and store them in a list in alphabetical order. Uh, well, not, are we going to learn how to code things to organize themselves in alphabetical order? You guys should know how to do that, yeah. I mean, yeah, I forgot. Put it in lists and then you can do sort. Although, for a couple homework assignments, I'm not 100% sure why, but your guys' sort wasn't working. Oof. So I commented, hey, your sort's not working. You might want to figure that out. Um, next thing, dictionaries. So creating a dictionary. So we had so for lists, right? How do I create a list? Brackets, right? Strings is what? Uh, marks. Yep. So just so you guys know, this is an empty, these are empty, right? So when I talk about an empty list or an empty string or an empty dictionary, this is what I mean. There's nothing in there. A space eh, is more or less empty. Um, with dictionaries, they're curly cues. They're curly brackets. Oh, uh, yes. I guess I should just try this, but... You know how like when you print a list, it still has the brackets? Is it the same with the dictionary? Yes. Okay. Like, and that's it. So if, you, if you're printing it in the shell, yes, you also get the quotation marks around strings and you can't get rid of that because that's telling you what it is. Okay. If it's a string, if it's a whatever, if it's a brat or if it's a list or, or, or a dictionary, when you're printing it in the console, right, when you're printing individual values, it doesn't. But when you print the dictionary as a whole, it will. Okay. Just to kind of let people know that this is a dictionary. Um, so this is an empty, this is also an empty dictionary. All right. Now with a dictionary, as you guys can see, I have my phone book. I have my Chris. So Chris is my key. And then 555-1234 is my value. I have Katie, which is my key. And then 555-whatever, 42345. So my three. So what's my first element? In that dictionary. What? Chris. Yes. Even though it's random in this line of code, it'd be Chris. And then what's my third? Joanne. Joanne, yep. And what's the length of that dictionary? There you go. Yep. Because I have three <laughs> individual elements. So notice it is the, the comma that separates the elements, not the colon. That's important to know. It's not six different items in here, not six different elements. It's three elements, each with two parts. Can you move it to like full, uh, bigger, like the writing's bigger? 
mean, I could do the slide. I don't mean adjust like the. I don't mean adjust the text size, but like zoom in on the whole thing. Really. Ooh, that, but thank you. Now I just can't see. I can only see the next slide. I can't like jump around, but it's fine. If this is better for you guys, it's better for me. So. It's better for us. Definitely. Okay, Nikki. So if you have uh, one like name and the definition of that is another name, like. If the definition of Zach is Chris, and the definition of Chris is Zach, and you go print Chris, would that make a loop? No. So what you print is, and we're, we're, we'll get to that. We'll get to how do you print individual things. So in, in like two or three slides, that question gets answered. I just don't want to jump around because then um, this isn't a 90s, you know, jock jam. Okay, one person got that. Okay, I said we're not going to jump around because this isn't a 90s jock jam. Get up and the, the, jump around. It's, a jock jam is one of those, like, in high school, if you're, you're called a jock if, like, you're a sport guy. So a jock jam is, like, for music, whatever. Anyway, so, pay attention up here. If, guys, I'm losing you. I'm losing you. I'm getting closer to ringing the bell once I get... Trevor, once I ring the bell, there's like no mercy, so. What bell? There you go, what bell? It does, the ching! There's a bell in here? Yeah. There was, someone took it. And maybe I told that to my networking class. But if I ever ring the bell, I'm actually really mad and you guys aren't listening. And then it's like, not fun in here. Um, but so for phone book, this dictionary, right? I built it, so I wrote, I did it exactly like this. And when I displayed it, this is what came up when I wrote it, when I first did this PowerPoint. Right, so even though I have Zach, Chris, and then Katie and Joanne, it got printed as Chris, Joanne, Zach, Katie. So it's stored in a random order. I don't know the rhyme or reason to it, but the way, in the next slide, we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you how you print individual things in a list. But does that make sense? You cannot use an index for this. You'll get an, in, uh, Index error or, no, 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 you get a, what's called a key error. That's in your notes, that's in your notes. You're gonna to wanna to write that down. Key error. Cause you have an error with your key. You don't have the number one as your key. Um, so if I want to return, if I wanna get Chris's number, I do the name of the dictionary, which is phone book, and the key, Chris. And that gives me the, that gives me the phone number. Josh. So you have to have Chris, like, it has to be like uppercase, right? And it has to be whatever this is. Okay. So whatever this is will give you this. If you do phone book, Chris gives you the number. So if you did a lowercase c, you wouldn't If you'd be a lowercase c, yeah. Right, it has to match exactly. If it doesn't, you get an error. You say it's not in there. Can you, like, make the titles, like, all capital? Like, can you make Chris all capital? Or is there, so then you can do it. If 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 you if you're asking the person to create a, a dictionary, yeah. oh, I guess you could, yeah. right? You would just capitalize it before you put it in the dictionary, oh, or sense. you could put if right. So you could put um. Actually, no. You could well. Could you put if phone books equal if phone book Chris equal equal? No, you could actually. So if you do phone book key, if you don't know what the key is, or you want to make sure it's whatever, phone book key dot upper. If it's a string, if it's a number, that won't work. So remember that question. We'll deal with it tomorrow when we're doing hands-on going through the coding. Yes, yeah, so, um, so what are the three methods you can use? What? What are the three methods you could use then? For what? You can search a dictionary by using the blank and blank blank methods. In and not in. So if Chris in dictionary print Chris's, you know, here's Chris's phone book, phone number. If Chris not in phone book print Chris isn't in the phone book. I thought it was three. Yeah, well it is three blanks, but it's yeah. two op two things. So um, phone book zero will cause an error. We'll get that key error value. It'll say key error. Using in and not in methods. You can search a dictionary by using in and not in. Again, this is very, very similar to lists and very, very similar to strings. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, are there any questions on this? If it's in there, do something. If it's not, do something else, right? 
If I want to add an element to a dictionary, this is not it's it's similar to a list, but not like a string, right? We couldn't add, we couldn't change what the first letter in a string was. We could only modify it, right? That's a little confusing, but you know, if you're watching this, you don't get this. You need to go back and watch our video on strings. Um, that was slick. I feel like you should have like the two. Thing. Nah, that's too much. That's too much effort to go back and post and do the. Go back and edit it, please. No, it's too much. Nine special right. effects. Add memes. Yeah. No, Trevor, what's up? I'm having difficulties. He's trying to just do it without learning it first, and he can't do it. I hate when that happens. When you try to do something without learning it first, and it's not working. I thought I knew it, but I didn't know it. Well, wait. We'll, well, yeah. Let's pay attention. Let's go through this, and then tomorrow when I'm talking about key value pairs and how to delete stuff and add stuff to a dictionary, you already know how to do that, or at least where it is in the PowerPoint. Um, so if I want to add a dictionary, um, dictionary name, right? I add the dictionary name, I add the key, and I add the value. I don't need to add an index. I don't need to tell it where to add it. Why don't I need to tell it where to add it? Because it doesn't know it's random order. Because it's a random order. Yep. I just tell it, add this, and it finds a spot for it. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's the bell. Um, really? Nikki. It's a random order, or is it just? It's a random order. So you would. So how would you wrong input those? We'll go over that tomorrow. Okay. So guys, the only homework is work on. Finish homework seven. I'm gonna make homework. Um, eight. I'm gonna make the last homework, which is about dictionaries, available. It's going to be due um, Wednesday evening before the exam next week. Um, if you have any questions on it, let me know. I'm here till four every day. Um, also, if you want to meet during lunch, just let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you guys mañana. Yes. Halfway through your lesson, your power shake just stopped working. It probably got unplugged, so I'll take a look at that. Going to karate? Yeah, like a big boy. I'm gonna start, man. Are you karate? The Dane Cook of martial arts. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Stolter. No. Ready? Oh my gosh, it is. Play <laughs> <laughs> that. Play. Stop.